Hello, good day everyone. I am Sir Phil and this is Sir Phil's channel and welcome to our Mathematics 9 video lesson. And for our lesson for today, we have quadratic function. So we're going to talk about some introductory concept about quadratic functions. Our objective for this lesson is to model, model real-life situations using quadratic functions and represent a quadratic function using table of values, graph, and equation. So let's go over with the following key takeaways and key points and key terms for this lesson. So the first is the quadratic function in the form of f of x or the function of x equal to ax squared plus bx plus z where a is a non-zero constant, b and c are constants of any value, and x is the independent variable. So it has the same uh, description with quadratic equation, but at this point, uh, we will treat it as a function, function of x. So that is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So mommy will go over with that. And then the solutions to a quadratic equation are known as its zeros or roots. So on that particular term from the quadratic equation, tinatawag na natin yung roots. So another term for that in quadratic function para dun sa dalawang solution niya ay zeros of quadratic function. So we have also here the different key terms that will be helped in this lesson so we have dependent variable affected by a change in input it, ex it changes depending on the value of the input so this is just a recall so we have two variables in this lesson the x and y so one is dependent to other one and then we have an independent variable which is the input of a function that can be freely varied then we go over with that later. And then we have also basic con the basic concept of the, of the graph of a quadratic function. So we go over with the concept of the vertex, which is the minimum or the maximum point of a quadratic function. So later we're going to discuss it. Tapos, we have the quadratic function, which is called a function of degree 2. So, let us have some recalls first of our previous discussed uh, function, which is the linear function. And then later, we're go we are going to compare it with our new function, which is the quadratic function. So, quadratic equations or functions are different than linear equations in a few key ways. So, this is the first one. Linear functions either always decrease if they have negative slope or always increase if they have positive slope. All quadratic functions both increase and decrease. So, ang linear function kasi, kapag negative ang slope, they are both decreasing. While, if the, pa this, if the slope is positive, they are both increasing. Unlike sa quadratic function, uh, uh, both are increasing and decreasing. So, depende na yan sa, sa, sa situation na ibibigay nung uh, quadratic function. Next, with a linear function, each input has an individual unique output. Assuming the output is not a constant, with a quadratic function, pairs of unique independent variables will produce the same dependent variable with one exception, the vertex for a given quadratic function. And then there is a reason behind that, no? Uh, when we talk about the graph, since the graph of a quadratic function is symmetrical in its left and its right side, that's why uh, there are part there na alike with the linear function. So, we'll go over with that with the discussion of the graphs on the next video lessons. And then, the slope of a quadratic function, unlike the slope of a linear function, is constantly changing. Hindi, uh, like dun sa, ano, unlike dun sa slope ng linear function kasi, 
may fix siyang slope dun sa particular equation. So, dito sa quadratic function, nagbabago yung slope niya. Okay? So, let's go over with this example. So, we have here a table of values as a linear function. Uh, let us focus first on the values of the variable y. So, let's have first the pen. Okay. So, let's focus with the value of y. We have what we call the common difference. Okay? So, ito rin yung mapapansin natin mamaya na kaibahan ng linear function sa quadratic function. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito is kukunin natin yung difference ng two consecutive uh, value ng y. So, yung magkasunod, we have negative 7 and negative 4. Tapos, yung negative 4 and negative 1. After that, we have negative 1 and positive 2. And then, positive 2 and positive 5. So, we're going to have the its common difference. Okay? So, subtract lang natin yan. So, we have negative 7 minus negative 4 which is equal to negative 3. So, negative 3. And then we have negative 4 minus negative 1, which is also negative 3. And then we have negative 1 minus positive 2, which is also equal to negative 3. Next, uh, we have 2 minus 5, which is equal to negative 3. So, kung mapapansin natin, kaya sa tinawag na common difference, uh, same yung kanilang common difference ng two consecutive values of y. So, kapag napansin natin yan, na-observe natin yan, na yung consecutive values of y, ang difference nila ng bawat consecutive 2, two consecutive values of y ay same, ang tawag na ay common difference, we can conclude that this particular table of values represent a linear function. Okay? So, yun yung titignan natin kapag ang given natin ay uh, table of values. Uh, kapag yung common difference ng magkasunod na, na na value ng y ay same. Same lahat, magkakapareha sila. We can conclude that the table of values represents a linear function. So, in terms naman ng graph ng linear function, sige, i-graph natin. So, dito sa example na ito, uh, we have the ordered pairs, negative 2 and negative 7. Negative 1 and negative 4. We have 0 and negative 1. Positive 1 and positive 2. And positive 2 and positive 5. So, all we have to do is to plot these points in the Cartesian coordinate plane na nakikita nyo ngayon sa kanan na may x and y axis. So, this is already discussed from your grade 8 Mathematics. So, let us now plot the following ordered pairs in the Cartesian plane. So, let's start with negative 2 and negative 7. So, this is located on the quadrant 3 of Cartesian coordinate plane. So, we have negative 2 for x and negative 7 for y. That's, that is followed by negative 1 and negative 4. So, we have negative 1 for x and negative 4 or y. And then we have 0, negative 1. So this will be located at the lower part of the y-axis. So negative 1 is located here. And then we have positive 1 and positive 2, which is now located on the quadrant 1. Same with 2, 5. 2 and 5. This is also in the quadrant 1. 2 and positive 5. Okay, so if we are to connect the points, 
Okay, so it will create a straight line. So the graph of a linear function is a straight line. So let's have a summary of what we have here. So to determine the table of values, the va uh, to determine if the table of values represent a linear function, the common difference of the two consecutive values of y must be the same or kaya nga siya common, uh, dapat pare-parehas yung kanilang uh, difference ng mga magkakasunod. Okay? So, kapag pare-parehas yan, they are the same, they are equal, so they have common difference. So, we can say that the table of values represent a linear function. Sa graph naman, kapag ang graph ng, ng mga ordered pair natin sa pag pinakita natin using the Cartesian plane at ang, nak ang nakita natin is a straight line, we can also say that this graph represents a linear function. Okay? So, let's go over now with quadratic function. So, I have here at the another table of value given with the values of x as negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And then for the values of y, we have 1, 0, 1, 4, and 9. Okay, so let's get the common difference of the values of y here. So we have here 1 and 0, 0 and 1, 1 and 4, and 4 and 9. So let's have here 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Next, we have 1 minus 4. That is negative 3. And then we have 4 minus 9, which is negative 5. So this is the first difference. As you can see, they are not equal. Okay? So let's try the second difference. So, paano naman kinukuha ang second difference? Uh, ito naman yung difference ng two consecutive first difference. Yung mga value naman ng first difference. Ayan, yung 1 and negative 1. Negative 1 and negative 3. Tsaka negative 3 and negative Five, yun naman ang second difference. So, let us check for this example. So, we have 1 minus negative 1, which is positive 2. And then, we have uh, negative 1 minus negative 3, which is also equal to positive 2. And then, we have negative 3 minus negative 5, which is also equal to positive Two. So, what can you observe? So, although ang first difference ay hindi nag-equal, mapapansin naman natin sa second difference, they are already equal. So, paano natin siya i-compare doon sa linear function in terms of the difference ng values ng y? Okay? Okay. So, sa linear function, yung first difference niya pa lang, equal na. Okay? So, kapag equal na agad yung first difference, that is automatic a linear function. So, dito sa example natin, yung first difference ay unequal. So, nag-go over tayo with the second difference. Ang kinuha na naman natin is yung difference ng consecutive values of the first difference. So, nung kinuha natin siya, uh, lahat ngayon ay nag-equal na, which is positive 2. So, yun naman ay mga second difference na. So, in a table of values, kapag ang second difference ang nag-equal, we can say that the table of values represents a quadratic function. So, yun yung difference niya with linear function. So, later, tingnan na natin kung naintindihan natin ito with our with some exercises later. So again, 
uh, let us have the graph naman of this table of values. So, we have the ordered pairs, negative 2 and positive 1. Negative 1 and 0. 0 and 1. 1 and 4. And then 2 and 9. Okay? So, let us now uh, graph this ordered pairs in the Cartesian coordinate plane on our right side. Okay, so I just have a, a question. The first ordered pair, which is negative 2 and 1, which quadrant do you think is negative 2 and 1 located on the Cartesian plane? Okay, so if your answer is quadrant 2, you are correct. Okay, so let us plot negative 2, 1 on quadrant 2. So we have negative 2 for x and positive 1 for y. So this is where the point is located. Continue with negative 1 and 0. So our x is negative 1. And our y is 0. So, therefore, it is located on the x-axis. Then, we have 0, 1. So, from here, y is positive 1. So, this is located on the y-axis. Okay? So the, for the other one is the x-axis. And then, we have 1, 4. This is now located in what quadrant? What do you think? Okay. So, if your answer is quadrant 1, that is correct. 1, 4 is located at quadrant 1. So, positive 1 for the value of x. And then 4 for y. And then, we have 2, 9. Which is also in quadrant 1. Positive 2 and then positive 9. For y. And then, let us connect these points. Okay, so let's put an arrow. It means that it is continuous. So, kung buo to, that is continuously, continuous here. So, nakabuo tayo ng U-shape na graph. Which is actually, in quadratic function, it is called a parabola. Okay. So, ang graph ng quadratic function is called the parabola. And it has a vertex in which the vertex is a turning point. No turning point siya. So, dito sa mga point na to, ito yun. Yung negative 1, 0. So, yan yung turning point ng graph natin. Kasi nga, symmetric ang graph ng quadratic function. So, before we proceed with that, uh, let us have a summary of what we had in this quadratic function concept. So, sa quadratic function, ang first difference ay unequal, pero yung second difference doon equal na siya. So, makukuha natin yung second difference by subtracting the two consecutive first difference. So, kapag nag-equal siya, that is considered as a quadratic function. In terms naman ng graph, pag nakabuo tayo ng U-shaped graph or what we call the parabola, it is a quadratic function. So, there are two types of a parabola. Uh, there is a parabola that opens upward and a parabola that opens downward. And then, yung tinutukoy natin dito, itong dalawa, yan yung tinatawag nating vertex. Okay. In which, kapag ang parabola ay, ay naka-open upward, ang vertex natin is the minimum point. Okay? Yan yung tinatawag na minimum point kapag opens upward. Kapag opens downward naman, yung vertex natin is the maximum point. Okay? So, yun yung sa parabola. So, for now, yan lang muna. 
Kasi may hiwalay tayong discussion about its graph. So, yan lang muna. There are two types of the parabola. Opens upward and downward. And it has a vertex which is the, uh, the turning point of the parabola. Kasi nga, symmetrical yan. So, kung nasan yung vertex, yun yung hati nung parabola. And then, symmetric na siya. Symmetric na siya. Ay, sorry. Symmetric na siya dito. So, kung nasan yung vertex, nandun yun. Yung, yung vertical line na yan na nagahati sa parabola. Okay? And another, kapag opens upward, ang vertex natin ay minim, minimum point. And kapag opens downward, ang vertex naman natin ay maximum point. And then, more concept about its graph sa mga susunod nating lesson. So, let's go over now with the equation. So, let us uh, focus first on the function itself. So, the quadratic functions can be described by equations of the form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c or the function of x or f of x equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So, pwede natin siyang represent as y or f of x. Ang base natin dyan is f of x or We can also re read that as the function of x. So, same lang yon. And another thing, same lang din kung ang gagamitin natin is the variable y or the function of x. They are the same. Where a, b, and c are real numbers and a must not be equal to 0 for the reason kasi kapag nag-0 ang a, so mawawala na ito, magiging 0 yan. So, magiging linear function na lang siya. And then, katulad nga ng quadratic equation, the highest power of the independent variable x is 2. So, independent variable natin yung x. So, meaning, uh, it can stand alone uh, it, and it can vary freely. While yung f of x natin or the value of y, yan yung nakadepende sa value ng x. Thus, the equation of a quadratic function is of degree 2 because its highest exponent is 2. So, parang quadratic equation din siya. As long as the highest, ha, pinakamataas na exponent na nakikita natin in a particular function ay 2, we can say that that equation is a quadratic function. So, let's have some examples here. So, state whether each of the following equations represent a quadratic function or not. So, let's have also... Some observations, bakit natin nasabi na quadratic function or not yung particular equation. So, let's start with the first equation. <coughs> so, we have y equal to 3x squared plus 2. So, according to the description or the definition of a quadratic function, is it considered as quadratic function or not? Okay, so if your answer is that equation is a quadratic function, therefore you are correct. Since what we can see here, the highest exponent is 2, so this is considered as a quadratic function. Okay, the next one we have, y is equal to 5x minus 3. Is it quadratic function or not? Okay, so if your answer is not, you are correct. This is not a quadratic function since the highest exponent here is only 1. So therefore, this is considered as a linear function. Okay, so kapag 1 lang ang highest exponent niya, that is not a quadratic function. Instead, it is a linear function. Next. We have the third one, which is y equal to 8 minus 2x squared. So, through the observation, it is a quadratic function. It is a quadratic function since the highest exponent is 2. Next, we have y equal to 2x squared plus 3x cubed plus 2. Is it quadratic function or not? If your answer is not, you are correct. 
this is not a quadratic function since what we can see the highest exponent is 3. So this is not a quadratic function since the highest exponent is 3. Again, para masabi natin na quadratic function siya, ang highest degree niya lang dapat ay 2. Let's have the next one. Y is equal to x minus, quantity x minus 2 times quantity x plus 5. So what do you think is the answer? Is it quadratic function or not? Okay, so if your answer is a quadratic function, you are correct. This is a quadratic function because if we are going to use the FOIL method in this uh, example, this is equivalent to x squared plus 3x minus 10. So that is y equal to x squared plus 3x minus 10. So if we use the FOIL method here, uh, we will have a quadratic function. Next, we have y equal to 5x squared. Again, this is a quadratic function. Since the, the exponent here, the only exponent here is 2. So therefore, the highest exponent is 2. Next, the function of x or f of x is equal to 6x squared minus 3x plus 7. Is it quadratic function or not? Okay, so if your answer is a quadratic function, therefore your answer is correct. It is a quadratic function. Ang pagkakaiba lang ginamit natin is function of x. So sabi natin kanina, pwede namang y, pwede rin namang function of x or f of x. And of course, the highest exponent is 2. So therefore, this is a quadratic function. Okay, that's all for our lesson for today. So let's have a quick exercise about what we have discussed today. So I want you to determine whether the following illustrations, graphs, table of values, and equations represent a quadratic function. So I will give you 5 seconds per item. All you have to do is to say if it is quadratic function or not. Let's start with the first one. <laughs> Okay, so if your answer is a quadratic function, you are correct since this is a parabola. Okay, next. Okay, so we are given here table of values. Okay, so how are we going to determine it? So, kunin lang natin ang common difference. So, we have 6 minus 0. That is 6. Tignan natin kung may common difference. And then, 0 minus negative 4 is positive 4. Negative 4 minus negative 6 is positive 2. Negative 6 minus negative 6 is 0. Negative 6 minus negative 4 is negative 2. Negative 4 minus 0 is negative 4. So, this is the first difference. They are not equal. So, tingnan na natin, check natin yung second common difference. So, 6 minus 4 is 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 0 is 2. 0 minus negative 2 is positive 2. Negative 2 minus negative 4 is positive 2. So, yung common difference nila ay equal lahat. So, kung ang sagot natin ay quadratic function, we are correct. So, it is a quadratic function. Let's have the next one. Time starts now. Okay, so let us check. This is f of x. So negative 4 minus 
negative 1, we have negative 3. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. Positive 2 minus 5 is negative 3. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. 8 minus 11 is negative 3. 11 minus 14 is negative 3. So, minus lang yun ang minus. So, first difference natin ay equal na siya. So, kung ang sagot natin is not, therefore we are correct since this is an example of a linear function. Okay, let's have the next one. Time starts now. Okay. So, if your answer is a quadratic function, you are correct since the highest exponent is 2. Next. Time starts now. Okay. If your answer is not, you are also correct. Since this is a linear function which has the highest degree of 1. Next. Time starts now. Okay. So if your answer is not, you are correct. Since the highest exponent in this function is 3. And let's have the final one. Your time starts now. Okay, so let us observe. Okay, so if your answer is, it is a quadratic function, you are correct again. Since the highest exponent of this quadratic function, or this function is 2. You are good. Okay, so thank you for listening. That's it for today. That is the introduction for our lesson on quadratic function. So yung mga susunod na lesson natin, we'll go over deeper, okay? Deeper uh, concept about quadratic function. Again, thank you for listening. This is Sir Phil, and this is Sir Phil's channel.